Hey you guys, it's Megan and it's Friday and I am so thankful right now because this week felt like five weeks long. How's your new lipstick? I love it. What is it? Let's show them. NARS. Ooh, NARS. Yeah, we got this at Ulta the other day. Shrinagar. Yeah. <laughs> Here, show them in the vlog. Oh, that's nice. It's like a raspberry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so metallic. pretty. It's got a little shimmer. Yeah. Ooh, nice. We we got a lot in our stuff yeah. at that sale. Oh, and I just found out that the Sephora sale that's normally 15% is going to be 20% because oh. now they're finally realizing Ulta is way better and they need to keep up. And people are abandoning them. <laughs> yes, I pretty much have completely abandoned them. But um, me and mom are going to get fish sandwiches because it's Friday and we're gonna try Chick-fil-A because I think that they're delicious. So we'll see what mom thinks. We like Chick-fil-A in general, so I'm, I'm sure you'll like it. And then we just have a few errands to run and then Rachel's coming home this weekend to celebrate mom's birthday. And yeah, so lots of fun, different stuff going on that I'll bring you guys along for. And I wondered who the girl was. Halsey. Oh, okay. I didn't know who that was. Yeah. So we're going to listen to the new BTS album, which I love. My top three are Persona, which is RM's oh, solo song. Nice. Um, Boy With Love, which is the one with Halsey. Oh my gosh, it's stuck in my head so much. And then Home. Oh my God, you'll love it. Okay, but they're all good. good. It's only seven songs okay. for this album. Or Come Back, as they say. <laughs> but weren't they so cute they were in so the cute. video? I oh love all the God. colors of the things they wore. They were so I know. Pretty. And Halsey had like really cool like orangey yeah, hair. Yeah, Pink like eyeshadow. Yeah. They yeah. were just, the aesthetic was so bad. <laughs> But yes, we're gonna jam. J Hope. J Hope. RM, you said look like an angel. Look like an angel. I thought Jimin looked like an angel. Hey, like Jimin. he looked like a Barbie doll <laughs> or like something. As always. He was sweet. He was sweet. He's very cute. So we'll. I just can't believe we're gonna see them. Me either. And then with all this new good music. Ah, yes! <laughs> so change of plans. Chick Fil A over here apparently doesn't have the fish sandwiches even though they have it near my work. Um, so we went to Wendy's, theirs is really good, and I got vanilla Coke, which I was actually craving, so this worked out perfectly. You guys, look at this. My mom knew about Game of Thrones Oreos before I even did. Are they double stuffed at least? These look like plain Oreos. Oh my God, that is just insane. Look, they're almost all gone. <laughs> We think this brand looks really cute. And they have like cute names for everything. Superhero supplies, human repair kit, then like kid stuff. Welly. Apparently, oh my God, ba bravery bandages. I love it. We want it all, but it's not on sale. And you can pose with these giant size ones. Very cute. We think this wreath is the cutest thing ever, but it's $12, it's just like pom-poms. Mom was like, we can make it. And I was like, we could, but we won't. <laughs> But if you want to give us inspiration, tell us we can do it. And also, look at this little, oh my gosh, she has like cute um, wings too. You know, we love those birds. Look at all the different versions or colors. Are they different versions? That's so pretty. I love it. I think I like this one the best. It's like coral. And then they have the love yourself ones. Oh. Rachel would know. Oh yeah, it says version two, Persona, or version three, okay. I don't know. I think that's awesome, like, I all this They're here. geniuses, so people are gonna spend like a hundred dollars instead of just 20. And it's like a book. Oh my God, that's so cool. Except I just downloaded it from Apple Music, <laughs> which I pay like six bucks for a month <laughs> to get everything. But very, very smart business people over here. My boss is having a little boy, so my mom was like, let's go look at all the little kid stuff. And we were like, oh my god, we love this little onesie. And then I was like, what's this? And we were like, oh, that's the cutest thing ever. So we're going to get him this little jumper or onesie, whatever. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. I love it. I want to buy all this stuff. <gasps> the koala hat. I got, I think I got that for someone else or I wanted it because I love koalas, but this is perfect. If you have a little boy, please buy this for your little boy because this is the cutest and the bow tie. Oh my God, it's incredible. Fit 
like $16 for a whole outfit. I wish that's how cheap adult clothes was. <laughs> and then get them that little hat. Yeah, that'd be perfect. <laughs> We're also gonna get my boss these little blanket sets. My mom said she got them for a coworker and they loved them. And uh, my boss is having like a very neutral color palette. And so I think these are perfect. And so we're just so happy with our finds and we're getting this for Rachel, the BTS album version one is apparently the best version. And then we're gonna learn about Marvel. <laughs> we're gonna eat m &Ms. It's gonna be a party. <laughs> You're in it. <laughs> So, for mom's birthday, dad got her basically like an instant pot. She's been so curious about it. So he got her the crock pot express crock multi cooker. Does all these things. And so we just wanted to ask you guys to send your favorite instant pot recipes. We're excited. We're so excited. Rachel and her roommate make stuff in their instant pot every week. And yeah. they've inspired mom so much. So... Any recipes you have, send them our way, and we're excited to crack into this. All right, we're here with Rachel, and what are you gonna do? Open up the album. Woo! Version what? One. One. Version one. And apparently the only difference between the versions are the pictures, yes. and I'm filming on her camera, so. If it looks better than everything else. That's yeah, <laughs> that's why. Be careful. And they have all the pictures shown on their Instagram. Big Hits Instagram. Yep. I'm impressed you knew their name. They don't have I know everything. Ones, right? the guys? Like they only have the company. They don't have their, yeah, own they don't have their own Instagrams. Or Twitter. They, just they probably have secret ones. Ooh, Ooh map of the soul. <laughs> oh my god. My favorite. Mom's You're favorite. Biased, is what it's called. He's, He's my bias. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see RM, I'm like, I love you. <laughs> and then Jimin's perfect angel skin. I know, he looks great. Yeah. Oh my god, that's a really cute, cute picture. Yeah, this one's cute. Okay, so is that random or do you know? So that's based off of the version. Okay, like so you wouldn't get the same poster unless you bought the same version yeah okay cool. so That's then good. if you bought all four versions you get four posters wow for for all the space on your walls yeah. you want to fill up so then this is like a booklet yeah that's cool oh it's like yearbook <laughs> oh that's cool <laughs> they must have like the most fun ever this is their jobs like yeah. what the heck i know I wish this could be our job. Yeah, really. <laughs> I just filmed my current favorites video with Rachel's camera, the Canon G7X with the flip up screen so I could actually see what I was doing. Last night, Rach, I filmed a video and the half my head was cut off. <laughs> I'm so annoyed, but I'm gonna post it anyway. It was just like my forehead, kind of, whatever. But this is amazing. I look so incredible. <laughs> I do say so myself like it blurs I don't know if it blurs you but there's just something really mm -hmm. great about this camera so I'm gonna buy this for my birthday for myself I think and I don't think I've shown you guys this nail kit that I used on my nails this week and it's super easy it's just like a foil um foil that you add to your nails it comes with nail polish as well but you could definitely use like any nail polish but they're pretty good they haven't chipped or anything it's just like this foil that comes in this container to keep it like from drying out I guess and you just like stick it on your nails when it's still wet you can see like I use that part and it just gives such a kind of like a graffiti kind of or just like paint splatter I don't know it's really pretty so Rachel's probably going to do it today to her nails, but just thought I'd mention it since I don't think I've shown you yet. You guys, it's so gorgeous outside. I think it's like 70. Oh my god, it's perfection. I'm going to Alyssa's just for a few hours and I can't wait to see her. We haven't seen each other since the Ariana concert and I haven't been to her apartment in forever so I can't wait to see Moki, her dog and I was like no wonder I'm so affected by allergies because I love driving with my windows down so I'm just like allergy central but it's worth it kind of not really but I love the, this weather so I'm appreciating it for now 
Alyssa and I are going to Honey Grow. I'm meeting her here. I love this place so much. I requested it because I miss it. I promise you, we had salad, but now Good. we're eating ice cream from this place. Oh, balance. Balance, exactly. <laughs> salad and then two scoops of ice cream. Actually, it's one and a half. <laughs> but it's called a single, which is really confusing. Yeah. But I got s'mores and sea salt yeah. chocolate caramel. And Melissa got praline, praline pecan, pecan and, and s'mores. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> and it's like the most gorgeous day ever, ever, ever. Ryan picked us up Yum Yum's donuts, which are the best donuts of all time, except for Glaze Krispy Kreme. <laughs> I think those are my favorite. And also Beeler's. Second best. And also Beeler's. It was oh, close when I went last oh, weekend! Yeah, oh, this so is mad. <laughs> so, Red Velvet. Vanilla cream filled. Oh my god, my heart is melting. It's called the white lightning. Guess what should do our wills? The plain. plain. <laughs> <laughs> this vlog is literally just a vlog of sweet treats, but these are from Vegan Treats in Allentown, Bethlehem. Bethlehem. There's even more over here. Let's debut these. Oh my god, these are gluten free, beautiful creations. Look at mom's little birthday cake. Oh my god, they're so, so, so cute! Hey guys, it's Sunday now and I have been nothing but lazy today. Other than washing my makeup brushes, that was a task that I've been avoiding and dreading. And I did it while watching Game of Thrones on my phone. And I'm finally caught up with my rewatch. So I finished season 7. So ready for season 8 tonight. I... I just am so glad I did this rewatch because it made me so, so, so excited and looking forward to whatever this season brings because I know it's going to be just an incredible like journey that they take us on. So I'm really excited. And now that I'm caught up with that, I think I'm going to start watching Sharp Objects on HBO with Amy Adams. And it's been on my list and... It's like the next one on my list. So I think I want to start to watch that and I'll see how that is. I've heard great things about it. So I'm expecting a lot. I don't even know what the plot is, but I like going into shows blind, as you guys know. And pretty much the rest of today is just going to be taking Rachel back to school. I don't know if we're going to go out to dinner somewhere or what, but literally I just took a shower to make myself feel like a human again because I've just been lounging in this exact position in <laughs> my PJs and yeah, so I'm going to keep doing that and then eventually leave the house, but I just love days like this where it's like such pure relaxation, laziness, whatever you wanna call it. I don't do this a lot, and so when I do, it's just like, yes, I love it! Proof that I'm actually leaving the house. We are going to get dinner and then taking Rachel back to school. I have a lot of editing to do, so I'll probably do that in the car, and then hopefully on the way home, I can watch the Game of Thrones premiere because my dad's car has Wi-Fi, which is like the coolest thing ever in the history of the world. So yeah, I am all set. I have all my stuff. <laughs> I feel like I'm like leaving for the week, but I'm literally just leaving for a few hours. We have all of our salsas. They still have the pineapple one. I'm so happy. I got the home marker burrito with ground beef and just a few toppings. And then we always get queso. Oh my gosh, vanilla Coke. Thank you. My favorite thing ever. You guys, I got the Game of Thrones milkshake with dragon glass. This is so awesome. OMG, you guys, it's happening. I can't wait. Oh my god, you guys. This episode was so good. The intro was incredible. They switched it up completely and I was mesmerized. And me and my friends are just all texting and like so much happened in this episode. Oh my god. Oh my god. I I will die before next Sunday. I need like all the episodes right right now. Oh my gosh. It was so worth it. So worth the wait. It, I think it was almost two years since the last season. That's insane. But yes, if you're watching Game of Thrones too, let me know what you thought. I'm sure all of us have a lot of feelings about it and it's just going to be so interesting to see, especially what John does going throughout this season. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Hey guys, it's Megan. It's Monday. It's my lunch break, so I'm getting some coffee at Dunkin'. I thought it was going to be warm today. It is freaking cold as hell. It's like 55 degrees, but it's super, super windy. 
So I don't know what like forecast I was looking at, but it was really wrong. And so I thought I was gonna get iced coffee, but thank God I didn't order ahead because I need hot, hot, hot coffee. And I'm trying French vanilla coffee with a caramel swirl to try to recreate like a caramel macchiato. And I've just become obsessed with the Starbucks caramel macchiatos and I never had it before, but I've heard about it for so long. I don't know what took me so long to try it. I thought I, I guess I thought it would be like boring, but it is the most like delicious combination ever. So I am going to see if there's any way to kind of like create the same flavors at Dunkin'. And I have like a $1 coffee coupon here. So I'd rather spend $1 than like $5. <laughs> and yeah, so we'll see how it goes, but I'm pretty stoked to try it out. Thank you. You too. All right, we are in business. And this location is so close to my work, which is so nice. The Starbucks is pretty annoying to get to so this if this works out i'm gonna be pretty happy <laughs> it'll save me a lot of money in the long run me and my like cubicle mates like in our little like quadrant we've been doing planks every day at work and my highest or the longest that i've ever done a plank at home is like a minute and then i die and i just want to curl up curl up into a ball and die so I was like, oh my God, I'm never gonna be able to plank at work. Like it's gonna be so embarrassing. But honestly, I am able to plank for so much longer because of like, it's like positive social pressure. Like it helps keep me motivated. So the longest I've done at work is two minutes, which is insane to think that I actually did that. But last week we were trying to do like, we're trying to maintain a more reasonable amount of time. Like two minutes, I did it once, but I couldn't maintain it. So last week I did one minute 30, and then this week I'm doing one minute 45 seconds. And I did 145 this morning, or like right before lunch. We tried to do it right before lunch, because then we get it over with. But I'm just so proud of myself. Like. I never thought I could do more than one minute. So to be able to say I've done two minutes and I can maintain at least 130 and now I'm working up to 145, that's just like mind blowing to me. So um, if you're like close with your the people that you're near at your desk, I would really recommend like doing a little thing that you can all do every day at your desk. Like planking is very like, kind of inconspicuous because even though someone might see you like, oh my God, I can't even, you guys aren't even seeing me. Um, planking is pretty inconspicuous since you're like on the ground. So they might see you like laying on the ground, but it's so worth it. And I just feel myself getting stronger, which I feel like I should also do push-ups. but I've been trying to do um, just my hand weights at night as I watch TV. I try to do it for at least like a little bit and then I get lazy, but um, yeah. So maybe this could be like a little bit of inspiration for you guys. Oh my God, this camera situation is just not happening today. All right, now that I'm stationary, I wanted to also show you guys my eyeshadow today. I've gotten two compliments on my eyeshadow today, which is so nice. So, um, well, first, it might be the liner that they're also complimenting, which is the Stila Indigo Liquid Liner. I haven't used this in a while, and I really need to get more use out of it because I bought it last year around this time, and, like, I probably need to use it up and move on with my life, but I really, really do love it. Um... And then the eyeshadow is from the Love in London palette, the BH Cosmetics palette that's on sale this week at Ulta for 40% off. And then I put like just in the front of like the inner corner to the middle of my eye, the Stila um, Glitter and Glow in Diamond Dust, which is definitely my favorite of those. And then my foundation is pretty damn glowy. I wish it like around this part, I wish it was a little less glowy, but I like the glow 
everywhere else pretty much but i'm wearing the um hourglass stick foundation which i haven't really talked to you guys about since i bought it last fall um i don't use it very much and i need to because it's really expensive so um i'm kind of testing out the waters with it and then i used the cover effects illuminating powder which i think just like made it just a touch too glowy for my taste like i like i said like around here i feel like it's just like a little a little much but yeah very very much enjoying my eyeshadow today especially and my makeup in general but let's try this coffee and see if it's it might be too boiling hot um i love duncan cups because it comes with like this thing that you can put over the opening because whenever i use just the starbucks little sticks that go in the cup it still spills everywhere because i'm a mess but okay oh my god it smells amazing I'm so prone to burning my tongue, so I'm terrified. Is there a better way to cool down coffee? I have no idea. Because then it cools down too much, and then I want it to be hotter. It's so annoying. Okay, let's try this. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so scared it's going to burn my mouth. Oh, yeah that's a good combination it's not too hot i didn't burn my tongue um the thing with duncan is that the syrups and stuff definitely taste more artificial and i like duncan coffee better like iced coffee and hot coffee i much prefer to like the starbucks brewed coffee but the duncan syrups and like flavoring is definitely more artificial tasting so at starbucks i only get espresso drinks because I don't like their coffee um, and their syrups are just so good um, and so Duncan coffee is good this is good but it definitely has like a little bit of like an artificial taste which is like whatever it's nice and warm I do not want to get out of my car I'm cold just thinking about it why didn't I wear like a scarf or a heavier jacket what is wrong with me <laughs> I'm home now and I'm so thankful my back has been killing me I think I pulled something around my shoulders i don't even know but i got some packages in the mail so i thought i would unbox them with you guys because i think that's pretty fun so this is something that i've been dying to buy and one of you guys told me that it was on a um, nordstrom rack so this is the something navy tie-dye trench coat and i ordered the medium and the large to try them feels really really nice this is the medium it's so pretty and it was like 60 percent off that is so cool so i have to try them on and decide if i want it at all or what size or whatever Let's slap it on and see if it looks good or if it looks crazy or what. I need like, there's no mirror around here. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's like buttons. Feels really nice. I think the medium will work out if I decide to keep it. Thank you so much to my subby who told me about that. I'm so sorry. I, I'm blanking on who said it, but um, I'm glad just to be able to try it for a much lower price and then decide whether or not I want to keep it. Nordstrom Rack is so great and Nordstrom in general is so great with returns. I ordered two perfumes on Poshmark. My subscriber Sydney has her own YouTube channel and she did the most amazing video on um, Viva La Juicy perfumes. She is an expert, so I will link her video below. And so I've been going down this insane rabbit hole and I found two perfumes from the same seller. God, they're so heavy. Uh, um, that were two of the Juicy Couture ones that I wanted to try. I went to Ulta and like sniffed them all and I got an insane price. I got two bottles for $100 and they were both brand new, I think. So this is the um, rosé. So it has like a little champagne bottle on there with like a safety pin and it's such pretty like ombre packaging. And this one literally smells like champagne. Oh yeah, it's never been sprayed. Oh my God, it's so incredible. 
it's like kind of floral but it does have like that effervescence to it I just love it and then the other one I actually smell that Kohl's and it was or it is the Glossé which I think is like more sweet which I'm all about that oh here we are oh my god the bottle is stunning this seller really wrapped it well so not a huge fan of this bow but I love the bottle it's like iridescent yeah this has got to go but everything else is really nice oh my god it's much sweeter oh my god it's so good I am so so happy about this so I got two bottles for a hundred dollars which these are the big ones this is 3.4 and this is 1.7 and American Express was having $15 cash back if you spent $50 at Poshmark so I got two bottles for $85 which was insane and the seller gave me free shipping it was so such a great deal so I'm going to do an updated perfume collection soon because I've been like kind of revamping my perfumes and getting excited about perfume again. So that was really fun. I'm so excited to wear those. And then finally, I have some good stuff from ColourPop and I randomly, what was I doing? I don't know why I was shopping on ColourPop, um, but I ended up realizing they have like dupes for the lemon head glitters and I was just like what on earth like I need to try these immediately so oh my god so cute like a little easter bunny thing my receipt and then all the goodies all this was $30 because there was a coupon I had so I got two loose pigments which I've never had from them very pretty packaging in the color red zone you would think it would be a red but it's like a champagne color and I really like their packaging of these oh man it's just like a huge open hole I would have loved if there was a sifter in here but let's try to swatch this and not spill it all over the place oh my god it's like fairy dust it's just like beautiful glimmer and you could use it wet and it would be like a lot more of the actual color but it just looks so pretty in the swatches so I got that and then the other one is called tied me down and it's like a mauve which I don't really have anything like this in my collection oh my god this is literally living on the edge um again super sparkly and definitely would make a bigger impact with like using it wet or with a glitter base you can see it next to that so it is just more like a pink version of that other one um definitely wish there was a stopper but these products are so inexpensive it's just like oh my gosh absolutely insane this is the product that reminds me so much of Lemonhead Glitter. So this is called Glitterally Obsessed. And this is the shade Outside the Lines. And this is like a huge tub of glitter paste. And this color was just so unique to me. Oh my god, yes, it is like Lemonheads. Hey, Dad. And this is the glitter. Oh my god that is gorgeous and it really does remind me of lemon head glitters how it is like the paste oh my gosh that is gorgeous hello i'm filming and so i got one of those those were eight dollars so i only picked one up because then i discovered these eyeshadows that are like pressed glitter and oh my god so excited about this so the one that I picked out that I definitely knew I wanted is Indio which is where Coachella is and I never want to go to Coachella it seems awful like that kind of situation just seems horrible to me so look how pigmented that is it oh my gosh I don't have words I don't have words so this is like a pink with holographic glitters and it's a similar consistency to the Glitterly Obsessed, but it's 
denser. It's not as wet. Oh my god, that's gonna look stunning on the eyes. I'm just curious if these will like dry out or what will kind of happen to the formula. Then I discovered that girl Shay XO and she does like eye swatches of ColourPop and she had a whole video of these and she um swatched Hungry Ghost which is this oh yeah these are so soft oh my god and she was like it's like unicorn magic like she is so cute oh my god look at that oh my god it is like magical and then the other one she was obsessed with was Light Show and these are similar to each other this one looks maybe more like blue let's see yeah I would say kind of like press and wiggle your finger in there yeah definitely more blue and Hungry Ghost is more yellow oh my god Tinkerbell vibes stunning oh my gosh I'm so excited I'm so 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 excited um so all glittery stuff you guys know that is so my thing and I'm just excited to play with these and see what kind of glittery glittery looks I can come up with glittery looks that's hard to say but yeah that is it I am gonna make dinner tonight we're gonna try a new recipe that I'm excited about so we'll show you guys that when I get to that point I have to put all this away now look at these in the light you guys I don't know if the camera can pick up on it but they are absolutely gorgeous oh my gosh especially hungry ghost yes 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 i love tonight's dinner is based on this recipe that my mom found on the bon appetit basically instagram and it's mushroom carbonara which oh my gosh i just love mushrooms so much so that is the inspiring gorgeous picture that they have and those are the ingredients and i'll of course link this below um but basically tons of mushrooms cheese eggs and then um we're gonna use some zucchini spirals like zucchini pasta and then some normal pasta but i really like that they have little like gifts for each of the steps I think that's amazing like go them for making it super user-friendly but for some reason my phone is not scrolling that's weird but I'm gonna try to make this and um, hopefully it turns out absolutely delicious so here is the final result it tastes really good I made some chicken on the side and we didn't have orchette or a chete, I don't know how you say it, pasta, so I just use penne, but it tastes really good, really savory. I think I might put a little bit of that umami powder on it just to make it even stronger, but overall, very good recipe to check out. Oh my god, you guys, I just put a little bit of Hungry Ghost on this eye and Light Show on this eye, and I hope you can see the difference between the colors. The Hungry Ghost is more of like a peach peach green blue reflect and then light show is more like a blue white oh my god they are both gorgeous they are both absolutely unique and stunning and just sparkle in the light like oh my gosh it's so fun definitely am excited to play around with those and um yeah so we just had dinner it was delish. Should have added more mushrooms to the dish. That rhymed. I can't talk. I have to pack really quickly for New York because I'm going into the city tomorrow for work. Just an overnight trip, but I haven't even started thinking about like what I'm going to wear and all that stuff. So I have to do that. I'm probably going to watch a little more of um, Sharp Objects. I got to season, or I got to why do I keep saying season? I got to episode three, I think. So I think I'm halfway done with episode three. So I really like it. It's not my absolute favorite show I've watched, but it's very interesting and very just like compelling to keep watching. There's so many mysteries that you're trying to unfold like the actual case that um, Amy Adams is um, doing her story on and then also her 
history and her struggles that she goes through and it's it's a good one if you have HBO so we'll see what I think by the time I finish it but just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this kind of like longer weekend vlog Friday through Monday instead of just Saturday and Sunday I just felt like talking to you guys today so I wanted to keep the party going but I hope you guys are having an awesome one thanks so much for being here and I'll see you soon bye